Hello, good morning all. Myself Divyang Sirana and we are the students of Srof SR Rotary Institute of Chemical Technology. We are presenting our project at 8th semester virtual project fair. And our project is to study various types of heat exchanger. Our group members are Upadhyayne, Ruthvit Si Chauhan and Dharya Parikh. Uh, in this project, we have studied out various types of heat exchangers. Uh, heat exchangers from an integral part of the chemical industry, a heat exchanger in a system that is used to transfer heat from one fluid to another fluid. It can be used in a cooling as well as a heating purpose. The fluid which are used in a heat exchangers can be direct contact or indirect contact that is separated by walls. The fluids can be in the same phase, in a different phase. Different types of heat exchangers are as follows. Silent tube heat, heat exchangers, plate type heat exchanger, and double pipe heat exchangers. Hello all, my name is Ruthvi Chauhan. Our aim to work on software like MX Excel, DWC for the calculation and optimization of the heat duty and heat transfer coefficient. Uh, our objective to compare the value of heat duty and heat transfer coefficient obtained with the help of software and experimental values. Hello everyone, good morning. I am Dairia and today I will introduce about different types of heat exchanger. So in this final year project, basically we have uh, studied on two different types of heat exchanger. The first one is silent heat exchanger and the second one is plate and uh, plate type heat exchanger, plate and frame time heat exchanger. Uh, the silent type, uh, the cell and tube heat exchanger consists of a cell, uh, which, uh, of a cell which ranges from the diameter of six inch to 120, 120 inch diameter. The shell contains of buffel tube, buffels of tube, buffel tubes with a square or a triangular piece. A cell and tube exchanger can have one one pass, two pass, or more than two pass. Uh, in this, a cell a cell can be a cell in which liquid can flow, and in the tubes, the other liquid can flow. And by the contact of this uh, cell and tube, we can uh, heat or cool the our desired product. The shell also con also contains of but buffels, thyroid, tube seed, expansion joint, etc. The another one type of heat exchanger is double pipe heat exchanger. Uh, in this type of heat exchanger, there are concentrated pipe which con which contain different different fluids. The fluid flow in the same or opposite direction, and thus the heat transfer between the two between the two phase in the indirect way. The another type of heat exchanger is plate type heat exchanger. It also used in the industries. The, the construction of plate type heat exchanger is similar to the filter press. Uh, in this, in this uh, final project, basically, first of all, we have uh, developed uh, the heat transfer coefficient and other different uh, parameters on Excel sheet and then from this, by the by applying equations in the Excel Excel sheet, we can we have obtained the uh, different silent, uh, different uh, heat transfer coefficient of the silent tube heat exchanger and the plate type heat exchanger of this of both the similar uh, both the similar product. Uh, we have taken benzene and water uh, for the calculation. After this, we have. If by applying same parameter on DWF sim in DWSIM simulator, we have uh, also checked the heat transfer coefficient, and uh, we obtained that in both the both the both we can obtain the similar heat similar heat transfer coefficient. Uh, here there is a uh, DWSIM simulator figure is shown here. Good morning. My name is Ne. And I am going to discuss about the methodology of the uh, of our project. First of all, we uh, work on the design steps of uh, shell and tube, and also on the design uh, steps of double pipe in Excel. Then we worked on DW sim for the comparison of uh, the experimental and the uh, the uh, simulated or the optimized value of heat transfer coefficient and the heat duty. The working of the same uh, type of heat exchanger was studied. Uh, experimentally and uh, the um, efficiency was also calculated. Uh, for the conclusion, we concluded that the silent tube uh, heat exchanger was found to be more effective uh, than uh, all other heat, uh, heat exchangers. Uh, the value of the heat transfer coefficient slightly varied uh, 
because of the efficiency uh, problems and the efficiency was found to be 67%. Uh, thus, we conclude our, uh, uh, we conclude our uh, project uh, review and uh, thus uh, this was our project. Thank you.